He was 68. Now he was... He was young. Yeah, he was young. But like he was always unwell because he smoked a lot. Towards the end, he basically had an aneurysm in his stomach. There was a high chance that it would just burst on its own and then he would die. What I was told is he would die a terrible death or they could try and do an operation. He probably would have rather weighed it out. But we were just like, listen, there's a chance here. You're going to be totally fine. You won't have to worry. It'll be gone. And so he went and had the operation. He woke up from the operation. But when he came to and I was talking to him, I was like, he's saying weird stuff to me like he wouldn't ever say to me and then it turned out he'd had a stroke on his brain they put him into an induced coma and then he never came out of it oh god Vogue how old were you Probably 24 at the time, I think. I felt guilt for like for a good few years after it. Because, Did you? Well, because I actually didn't know that my auntie was trying to convince him to do it as well. So I thought I was convincing him to, to, to do the operation. To go for the operation. When then I was like, God, he could have had the summer and he loved the summer. And I kind of felt like I had pushed him into it. So if I hadn't, then he mightn't have died. And now that like I reflect on it, I kind of feel like it's, it's written down for everyone when you're going to go. I'm going to go when I'm 350. <laughs> <laughs> You're still looking <laughs> fabulous, <laughs> darling. <laughs>